If you've been following the first two episodes of The Road to Supersonic Legend and haven't seen my community post or tweet about the future of this series, you may have been wondering where the next episode went. Well, it's right here. There were some concerns about the morality of the series on Reddit, but I've been told that my first mistake was visiting Reddit in the first place. Okay, jokes aside, I can understand how some people may be upset, but I've made my intentions very clear that I'm not trying to ruin the experience of any player in the game. And after seeing so many positive comments from my response to the Reddit post, it seems like a lot of you guys if not all of you guys understand where I'm coming from. Smurfing and intentionally playing in a lower rank is against terms of service, and I've always had strong opinions about players who do this. We've got three more placement matches to go, and by the end of this episode, we should be well on our way into high plat or even diamond or champ. I'm not really sure exactly, because we did lose one game. But of course, before we jump into the games, we have to get into our meme of the day, which comes from Newle. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But we've got Scissored of Oz for today. Like I said before, if you want to be the featured comment and meme of the day featured on the next episode, make sure to drop a comment of a funny name and picture that I can create. But now let's make this masterpiece. All right, I only think we need two things for this picture. So we only need Dorothy and then we got Sizz. And honestly, I found this picture and it lines up so well when I twisted the photo. So I think this is gonna be it. I just need to mold these two together. All right, so let's grab Sizz's face here. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna get rid of his entire hairline. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What have I done? You know what? I should move this over. And the last finishing touch. Yep, I would say I'm pretty happy with this one. So there it is. That is Scissor of Oz. Obviously, it's not the actual wizard, but it's Dorothy instead. But I think this is perfect because obviously there's not really a wizard in the Wizard of Oz. Sorry to spoil that for you. Let's jump into the episode now. All right, we had the first game. We got Chicago Poppy against No Bun Buns and Faint. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> 160 ping. So we got some flips towards the ball now, and I was talking about this in the last episode. People weren't really uh, flipping towards the ball um, on kickoff, but now they are. And you can see the positioning is pretty good. It's a good, good shot from them. I, could, I probably could have had that go in because that was a really good play from them to set it up. I'm going to reinforce that that's a really good pass for him to pop that towards me. It could be a shot towards target. So all you got to do is just double jump towards the uh, the ball there and make sure you line up your, your car towards where the ball is flying towards the net. Once again, you can sit in, in net here and sit close to the ball and then stay near the wall. And if this guy wants to challenge me, that's fine. I'm just going to sit in front of the ball and force some, something. And as, as the levels go higher and higher, um, people are going to try and force that 50-50 stronger against you. I sit behind my teammate see if he gets in the way. This is a really good challenge from him. And now, since he forced the player to make something happen, I've got the ball for free on the side. So I'm just going to pop this up and wait. Should be my teammate again. I love the positioning from everybody in the lobby so far. It's been good rotations. Huge improvement from the last episode. That's going to be really fast. I'm going to let that go in because I was in a position that really I probably shouldn't have been in um, if I'm not going to be rotating fast enough. Like, right here... Um, what I'm expecting Chicago to do is just get in the way. It's funny I said Chicago because it's a pro player, but um, I'm expecting him to get in the way there. And, you know, since he didn't do that, I'm going to make sure that I, you know, I guess not like teach Chicago that he didn't do the right thing, but sort of like, you know, get in the, the right mindset of, okay, I should have gotten in the way to help my teammate there. I mean, most likely he could have said, okay, why did my teammate not get that or whatever, but who knows? Okay, once again, I'm just sitting in front. And then my teammate can finish it close. I scored again. Okay, that was not my fault though. <laughs> this has happened every episode. I didn't even mean to. I just, I just 50 50 But I like, I like the effort from my teammate. Like he went for the the play after I 50 50 it, and he was ready for it. So this guy's flipping, going for the the shot. That was a really good kickoff too. This guy probably worked on his kickoffs. So you can boost and flip backwards, get really full speed, and then you get right back into the play. And right here, there's a chance that. Bun Buns wins this. He doesn't. And you can see now me and Faint are both kind of eyeing each other up on this one. He's going for it. A bad touch, but the right idea. I could have beat him if I went a little faster. It's all about whether or not you want to risk that as last man. It's really a pop. Now I got the, I'm going to touch this to mid. See if my teammate can follow it. Good try. So I see that no Bun, bun, bun Buns is really far away. So that's so my teammate actually got in the way of that as well, but my decision my decision to move forward there is all going to be based on the position of the other player, not just the fact that the ball went there. And since the guy was really far far away, I could have went forward, but my teammate got in the way instead. I'm going to pop this middle, see if my teammate follows. Okay, he, was, he wasn't quite there. 
So Faint's pushing back here. I have to wait here in mid just in case something goes wrong. And I'm going to go for this because I'm actually going to score because the, the player, you guys said if he makes a good pass in a mid midfield, um, I should go for it. I'm not really sure if I should be doing this. I mean, it's definitely open and he, he made a proper pass mid midfield. I want to give him a great pass as well. I think that um, you should reinforce like good, good moves uh, on the field on both sides. And that's why, like, the first goal, like, I wasn't going to save that because he, he made a really good clear towards the net. It's, and you can definitely tell people, people are putting it on target more often now. Oh. Well, I can't stop that one. So, big misplay on the wall here. What Faint could have done, instead of jumping off the wall to try and follow this, he could have just popped it up and then stayed on the ground. A lot of players on the early ranks and even, like, high ranks, they jump when they don't need to. But it's also not good to just be, be grounded. So, it really just comes down to um, how often... Or, you know, like how often you want to jump and how often you want to confuse the uh, the opponents by going for something. It's a really good play, really good finish. Um, but the idea there, if you want to save that, is to go for uh, the the play early. So right here, I should have pounced on that and jumped in the way. That was a really good shot. It's not always good to go for a play early. Um, like on the attack, because they have a clear position on you. But making your car as large as possible. I'm sure you've heard that a hundred times. Um... Oh, that's a really good bounce for us. Let's see what Buns does here. I'm gonna try and pass this middle. Oh, good clear from uh, Buns. Good demo as well from my teammate. They might pop this out forward. I can wait for this to bounce towards me, so I'm gonna wait for it right here and then go for the clear. So you can boom that wherever you want based on where you touch the ball. Um, once you have that power, it's really, really strong. Let's see what happens here. Go for a 50 on the last guy there. And then I'm just gonna wait in mid. There's nothing really too dangerous right now because the ball's leading in the middle. I'm trying to constantly read where the play could go. So most likely it's going to be in this corner. I'm going to stay with this. My teammate's in front of me. So I'm just going to try and get a 50-50 or something. And he could beat me on this. So I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to try and get in front of the ball while it's while it's uh, bouncing off the backboard. So I'm going to try and pass this middle. See if my teammate can get there. Good try. The net was open because of my play that I did there where I waited. A lot of players will, will like panic and go for the ball early. But I had a good feeling of where the players were on the field. It's also a good clear for my teammate. See if Chicago can get a pop towards the net. Good try. I got a block. It's a little dangerous for me to go on that last man challenge, but I knew I could beat him if I go for it. That's a really good touch from Paint too. Like I can tell that people are able to aerial now. And right here, a lot of players will make the mistake of trying to, go, trying to go towards net there. But as you can see, I went around the player as he was touching. Right here, I can also grab the ball. I didn't grab the ball perfectly, but um, like being able to grab the ball while it's um, falling towards you there is really going to be a good skill to learn in free play. And they just added new free play, uh, uh, free play ch uh, options. Oh my gosh, my teammates ruthless. Uh, they added new free play options where you can slow the game down, uh, which I'll go into uh, training for a second and show you guys that right before uh, we get into the next game. Uh, Cause this can be really helpful for lower level players um, who don't really have proper control. And I'll show you what you can do with it. So yeah, we are into Platinum 2 already on one of the players. So like I said, by the end of the next two games, I'm I'm assuming we'll probably be around uh, Diamond or Champ. And like, I understand right now that I'm winning these games. And I, you know, if I do lose them, I will actually be stuck in the lower ranks for a longer time. So that one loss we got in the first episode uh, will definitely set us back a little bit. Because we probably probably could have ended up in Champ something uh, by the end of the, per the, the 10 games. But obviously that one game wasn't you know, in my control because it was a 1v1. So as you can see, there's a new training tab here that has game speed. Unfortunately, they don't let you go faster because that'd be kind of fun to go like 110% or something that, you know, could make the game feel slower for you and more controlled, but you can reduce it down all the way down to 50%, which is, I think their slow-mo speed. I'm not really sure. Like if I go in here, yeah, this is their slow-mo speed in like the mutators. Uh, but this is a really good way for you to learn how to control the ball. So boosting underneath and then getting the ball on top of your car. And getting used to things like this where you can kind of just guide the ball around and there's there's hundreds of tutorials on how to dribble and how to do things like this or how to air dribble and, and pop towards the ball. It's actually really hard for me to do this because I don't really quite, I don't really know the timing of everything because it's all muscle memory for me. So um, air dribbling in slow-mo is really weird for me. But anyway, the whole point is that there are ways that you can use this to understand like how to pop the ball, how to like line up the ball so you can catch stuff like this. And stay close to it on the net um and just like basically use it to practice your turns and and control with the ball and then as you get better and better you can even do like you know 75 percent and then just you know get closer and closer to 
regular uh, regular gameplay. So what I'm doing right here is doing half volleys where every time the ball pops um, on the ground, I'm getting extra height. You can see every time I do this, if I do it in a way that like pops the ball, um, it's going to give it extra height because half volleys are super, super useful to get those booms on the ball. Like the second that the ball is doing this and I boom it like this, it's so much faster than if the ball was on the ground. So a lot of different skills you can learn just from basic movements in Rocket League. So getting those fundamentals down, as I've said and repeated many, many times, is going to elevate your gameplay. And knowing your options, like shooting early like this instead of waiting for the half volley, that's all about mind games. Uh, but we'll talk about more of that, more of that as we go up in the ranks. Uh, and you can see the replays are actually normal speed. Um, but anyway, so that's definitely something you can do. And uh, these these settings are nice. It's kind of nice that they made it so you can hide the controls and stuff. But those aren't super important. All right, so this game should be very, very high plat or low diamond. So we're going to get pit players that can definitely flip towards the ball now. Um, well, as I say that, I think they got confused about who should go. Right here, this last man. What I'm going to try and do is stay close to the ball and 50-50 him while my teammate is also AFK. Um, so I'm just going to stay close and, and make sure I don't um, do anything silly. They have two players. My teammate still isn't here. See, I don't know what to do in this situation. This is what I was talking about. Like, I don't know if I should, you know, continue playing the game or just forfeit. If this guy leaves, I will just forfeit. Because there's no reason for me to just... I don't want to ruin the experience of the other guys, like I said. And also... Oh, he's back. Okay, good. Um, like... There's no reason for I don't need to win this game and I don't, don't need to win any game really like I'm not trying to just like win every match but these placement matches are important like I said the, the more I lose in the, the the first 10 placement matches um the lower I'm gonna be after them so I don't know it's really a, it's really like a weird <laughs> question about what what is more important so that guy popped the ball off the wall it's a good follow-up from both of them uh, I'm gonna save that one because I was pretty far back and I was waiting for it so my teammate just popped it in middle. I would say that's not the right option because as you can see, there's a shot towards net. I'm going to let that go in. Um, I could definitely save it. He said, sorry, no problem. So he understands that it was a problem or she understands it's Alyssa. Um, they understand that it's an issue that they popped it um, middle right there. And I, I tried to save it. You can definitely pop up earlier and react to it. Um, I was sitting on the back end of the goal to try and sit there and get the most options. There's a good uh, chance on net. Oh, pop this on the backboard. See if my team wants to follow it. It's pretty high though. Good try on the finish. So a lot of players, what they'll do is they'll try to go super early on this, but there's not really much danger until, um, you know, it's over the net like this. But I waited, and I'm going to see if I can get my teammate to come up field here. No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that could not have went better. If that happened in SSL, I'm pretty sure that would have been a goal too. So there's no way, like, anybody in Platinum or Diamond is going to save that. I'm going to go for the mid boost. I see my teammates pushing up for the demo, but there's still a player on the ball. So I'm going to wait right here. It's a good try. So my teammate wants to stay with this. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and jump up for this and pass it forward. Unless it's backwards. Good try. Maybe they can go on it now and shoot. Nice finish. Yeah, that ended up just working. <laughs> she said faking. Um, yeah, I guess it works. Swanson also missed. So or Swan song. Swan song? Yeah, swan song of a raven. What a name. It's very elegant. Nice one. So yeah, I went up for the ball to try and pop that forward because my team was forward. Um, this ball could go back in the middle. I see that uh, Dodger is not going once again. So I'm going to wait here. Alyssa also missed. It's a good shot from swan song. There it is. Good finish. So a really good pop there. I was not in the right position to uh, go close enough to the ball. And see, when Alyssa missed that ball, I really shouldn't be pushing up anymore. What I should do is I should back off and make it so that um, I can back up my teammate again on the next touch. Because as you can see, like if I just went back, um, Swan Song was just going to pop the ball out of possession. So right here, I'm just going to pop it to the side. Good pop from Alyssa. Maybe they can follow it. Good clear from Dodger. So right here, that's the half volley right there. I'm just going to pop this off the corner and see what happens. Good try. Okay, that was a good shot. I mean, I I definitely think that was probably a little elevated. I mean, Platinum players can definitely go for aerials. And I think that was a, that was a good 
I, like I said, in the lower ranks, I didn't want to score, but here I'm definitely trying to be a little more involved in what my players, like my, like my teammate, my players, my teammates are doing. All right, so left goes is even a thing. Let's see if my teammate goes for this. It's a good shot. Swan Song's there. Let's see if Dodger goes. He doesn't go, so then I'm, I know I can go for this ball right here. What's happening? I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, Raven? What's going on? I think they're upset at each other. I'm not really sure because we're only one goal up and it wasn't like, I guess the aerial might have been too much. I'm forfeiting. They're back. I see he's doing a lot of the work here. I... Oh. Oh boy, they're bumping each other too. I think they're upset at each other. I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, Alyssa's... Oh my gosh, Alyssa has four goals. <laughs> and they forfeit. Honestly, I I really think my teammate played really, really, really well. They got four goals. Uh, they have a season four tournament winner in, in silver. And they did say they did say GG. So I mean I don't know. I think they were just like arguing with each other. But Swan Song played pretty well, and LA Dodgers didn't have many points. So maybe oh Alyssa wants to party up. I'm gonna say no to that right now until the upper ranks. I would say because that's kind of I don't know not the right idea. I definitely want to just find new teammates. Um, sorry, just sorry, just soloing for now. Anyway, a bit of a weird one. Let's see what the last game brings us into the ranks. I I'm not really sure if they were upset at losing or what because it was three to two and they were already stopping before game I mean, goal one went in so i'm not really sure not really sure with that one all right so this last game should be diamond and we've got trf and uh lobalocious i'm not really sure how to say that it's a fast kickoff from trf we got echo on our team i'm not gonna say the rest of his name so what happened there was the uh my teammate popped the ball off the wall and it came back to mid um, I, if I was there and faster, I could go for it. Um, but because I was, uh, too far away, it's better for me to try and position in a position, like in a spot where I can wait for my team to get back. He's got possession. That's a really good pass. So I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to score that because it's pretty fast play. And, uh, it's definitely scorable. Um, the way that he passed that middle. It's the right idea. Here, I'm trying to go for it. Good clear from them. So Echo was waiting in midfield just in case I got a 50 or of some sort. Good try. See if he stays with this. So it's up the wall. What I can do is drive with the wall. If you're not at that level yet, um, you can wait uh, to try and catch that. I don't know if my teammate's going to try and go for it. So I got a 50-50 once again. That was just towards their net. I don't really know what to do in those situations. All I'm trying to do is just block the, the shot. But he, he, he went so weak on the angle of the goal. And as last man, as you can see, I'm first man versus last man. This is why you don't go for those kind of things. Because you're going to be in a situation where it's super dangerous. As you go up in like high level GC and SSL, it gets a little more uh, you know, difficult to deal with. Because if anyone has a 1v1 opportunity with you, it's like a good scoring opportunity. All right, I'm going to wait for this. This is definitely a good opportunity for me to go for this. But Echo's waiting for me to maybe go. Good bump. Team's playing, my teammate's playing really well. So they got possession. I don't need to go for anything. Let's see what teammate goes for. They're in net. Let's see what happens. And they stop moving. They moved at the very end. I'm not. I, maybe they went AFK. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> to be honest, like nothing out of the ordinary is happening. Now, it's funny because Shannon told me that this was an issue, um, like, lately. Is that people just go AFK and stop playing. They're just not playing the game. And he's back again. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. If, if, do you guys have this common issue in, in Platinum? Like, um, in Platinum and also, like, I guess, gold and stuff? Because Shannon was uh, gold at the end of last season. And she just had AFK people all the time. So she stopped playing. She just stopped playing the game. 
Honestly, Echo's got this on lockdown. I'm just going to wait. I, I honestly haven't needed to do anything. Like, Echo's been playing, like, 1v2 this whole time. I mean, the first goal was definitely just, like, a bad 50-50 on their, on their part. But look, he's got it on lockdown, man. He's he's figuring it out. Oh. Good 50, 50 Like, he just keeps 50 50 it really well. He's playing really well. Oh, good try. Good save from my teammate. Good boost grab as well. I can't tell if he's playing like too fast or not. It's a good touch. If he can score it, good save. All right, so this ball's going towards me in the corner here. I can grab that boost by boosting a little bit just in case someone goes for it. It's a good 50 50. Let's pop in mid, see if they can score it. Maybe you can score. Nice, good finish. Um, so that was a really bad save. So what you want to do there is try to save it off to the side. And my teammate was backwards and he tried to follow it. But I drove ahead of the ball and then backflipped. What you can do is just lead, like stay near the ball. The closer to the ball you stay, the better. Or you can clear it behind the goal. So as long as you don't leave it in front of the net. And sometimes it's really hard to react to and, and not do that. But good save from TRF there. I'm staying in the corner here and try to stay close to the ball. See, see the fact that I, I flipped that ball into the middle of the field and then um, it, it ended up popping towards the, the player. That was not good because of the way that it, it went towards uh, an, like an offensive player that can go for a shot. What I want to do is try and keep that very, very close. Oh. Good try. Look for TRF here. He's, he's in a bit of a weird situation, so he's going to wait for his teammate, which is good. I'm going to do is pop this off the wall and see if my teammate can follow it. Good of him to wait there. He's, he's got a very, very good mind for what to go for, what not to go for. So I'm just going to start trying to stay close. 50-50 is good. Teammates backwards. A bit confused. Good save. All I got to do is just stay in front of the ball and get between the ball and the player. Which is what I'm going to do here. See if he passes it across. Uh-oh. That's a good finish, too. What a finish. <laughs> so right there, what happened was uh, he ended up popping it towards the middle of the field like I was talking about. Like right here, that side flip. He scooted it right towards the uh, the opponent, and they got a really good shot top in there. The name of the game is is uh, keeping the ball controlled and low 50-50s. That's a really good touch. Good try. What a touch from Lob again. Big clear. Should be my teammate. Good positioning. I like that. I'm not sure what side they spawned on, but um, let's see if I can pass this middle here. Good try. Ooh, almost a clear onto net there. Potentially a chance. Echo tried to keep it up, but that's going to be the end of the uh, regulation. Let's try to get uh, a good play going on this overtime. Uh, if that went in, I would have been so, so salty. Good try for my teammate. So it's a little scary right here because I'm last man once again, but I'm just going to try and support my teammate. That's a decent pass, but TRF's trying to go for it. And a pinch play too, saved from a lob. Playing really well. Stay close to this. This ball's off the backboard. See, my team wants to go for it. He's being hesitant to go for that, which is kind of smart. That's a good backflip though. See if lob can save it. Good play. A boost grab from Echo once again. I'm going to sit back in, in mid here wait for the the play to unfold don't need to rush into the corner and follow so just to stay close to this because it's um it's dangerous that could be a good good play i ended up getting bumped from echo or something i don't think they missed or something both players in the in the corner team wants to go good under control look at this guy he has the right idea he knows what's dangerous what isn't i don't want to go yet because once again my team is trying to go and now he's last man i'm just you see how i'm being very very um, I'm picking and choosing my battles rather than just going. This should be lobs clear here. That's that play that, that I was talking about where the ball goes towards the midfield like that. Echo almost pounced on it, but didn't quite. Let's see if... Oh, good try. It's a good shot as well. They just keep pe uh, peppering shots, but nothing too, too dangerous. As you can see, I don't need to go for any of those as long as it's not on target. All right, see what happens here. Oh, bought my teammate. I like that it was in mid, but definitely it wasn't a situation where the ball can spill into mid, so there wasn't really any need to go for something like that. But he's covering some options, which I 
which I can appreciate. This might be a good chance. Good save. So I'm just get behind here. Let the ball. I can let this ball go up the wall if I want, or stay right here close to the ball, and not do anything that um, that requires too much effort. As you can see, everyone's trying really hard to make a play, but you can just wait for the ball to spill into a spot where it's free for you. Now, I was last man there, but because I know there's space um, for the ball, I can stay with this. My teammate wants this in the corner. Now, there could be a 50-50 that goes wrong here, so I'm just going to sit back and wait for it. I think they scored. So, yeah, I think we played that that overtime pretty well. I think my teammate uh, really, really honestly carried me there with that game, and I think that he um, had a really good sense of positioning. So, overall, a pretty good episode. Definitely a bit weird with the AFK players. I'm not really sure what was going on there. It's definitely, like I, like I said, Chance told me it's pretty common. There's, like, AFKs and, and disconnects that happen all the time. We got a few achievements for something i'm not really sure but we're actually diamond two already so that's actually a pretty good sta starting point i think that's, this is comes to a point where we're getting into the players that are are going to really understand like aerials and like general mechanics but maybe not the right decision making so i think this is where we can start to really unravel the series and uh hopefully teach people about proper positioning in rocket league and how you can use your space uh effectively and start to rank up because I, I know that a lot of people say that they've watched my previous uh, series and went from like champ to GC, which is amazing to hear. But I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Um, like I said, I did address all of the uh, the uh, issues that people were having with the uh, series, but um, I, I think I'm trying to make this a proper, you know, educational thing. I, I, I have thought about doing private matches with ranks, but it does. It does. I, I've tried it. I've literally rec tried recording. It just didn't feel the same because people aren't taking it as seriously as they would with ranks you know a lot of people are just asking for signs and stuff so with that in mind i hope you guys are enjoying the series like i said until next time have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one